honestly, I think we were the best. And I'm not trying to brag, but we got out of it in, I think, 45 minutes. So it was supposed to be an hour. We got out in 45 minutes. And it was me, Hunter, Spangy, Will, Hedgy. And uh, the guy who carried us was Stephen McGee. I think we just uh, we picked the leader. We picked the smartest guy, and we just kind of rode with him. Uh, Stephen McGee was a stud in there. So uh, uh, we just kind of rode it out on him. I don't know how much I did to contribute. Uh, stuff was a little tough, but yeah, we, we made it out with way more time to spare than anybody else. I played a lot of those escape games on my tablet, so I've kind of seen how those kind of places work. So being there, I, I knew that everything meant something, even like the little pictures that have different colors and stuff like that. Yeah, Will, Will didn't do much. Will was trying hard, but didn't do much. Hedgy was kind of wandering. Spangy was into it. He helped out. And to be honest, I was kind of in the back just learning. I think we were definitely the best team. I don't, I don't know how the first group did the pitchers, uh, but the position players, we were, we were the ones that got out with like 14 minutes, 20 seconds left. Everybody for the most part knew what they were doing. Uh, we had like a ton of locks, uh, a ton of combinations, so we all kind of like put our heads together and figured out the combos. And um, we were like one clue away from getting out, but bottom line is we didn't get out of the room. So yeah, we're a little bitter about that. So we had a, uh, uh, we had Mr. Hand, we had Mr. Yates, Mr. Stammen, myself. Mr. Bauman was actually very good. Uh, he was eager to uh, throw everything over and, and find some some clues. Um, and actually, Brad was was quite well at it. I single-handedly got us out of the first room, and then um, we got into the second room, and we thought that was the last room. Um, so we didn't waited to get a clue a little too long, and then we found out that that was not the last room. I don't think we realized how many rooms our escape room was. It was pretty difficult, so I don't understand how anybody gets out. Um, you know, if we would have a better effort from Kirby and some other guys, I feel like we would have gotten out. But you know, they didn't really bring much to the table. Kirby Yates. Yeah, there was a cot in the second room, and, and he sat down on that uh, a few times. Yeah. I mean, it was, everybody in our group was running around with like chicken without a head, so I figured, you know, I'll just let them do their thing and I'll sit on a cot and if they need me, they'll need me, but they didn't need me. It's not like I would have helped anyway. Well, our group was the best. Uh, it just We just had the toughest group. And, uh, you know, as salty vets that we are, we wanted the younger folks to kind of get a boost of confidence, so we kind of let them take over. I was with a group of uh, younger players and uh, if I remember correctly, Quantro, he was a big part of it, as well as um, Locke was, uh, was a, you know, partaking in a lot. We had Chase Headley, AJ Ellis, Matt Caesar, Craig Allen, uh, Luis Urias. We were actually were a pretty good collective effort. Um, actually, Luis, one of the doors popped open and only one person can go in, and he just jumped right in, and he couldn't even, you know, quite describe exactly what was on the other side to us because he was one of the only Spanish-speaking guys in our group. But he managed to figure out how to open the door for us, and uh, Chase was kind of a leader chasing uh, AJ, and we all kind of just figured it out with a little help. Got a few clues, but it was a lot of fun. It was a great experience because before then, you know, you see each other. Well, you know, for me personally, because I'm new to the organization, you know, see each other out on the field. Maybe you say, "What's up in the in the locker room?" But really, you know, when you're when you're in a dark room trying to figure out a puzzle for 60 for 60 minutes, you know, that's like a great chance to get to know each other. It's just camaraderie, you know, you're in there talking to each other, you start to open up like the older guys, the guys that have been in the big leagues and the guys that, you know, are trying to get there, work together to, you know, get through the room. It's nice to kind of take baseball out of it and get to know everybody away from the field. Yeah, I think it takes your mind off the game for a little while and, uh, you know, we're all still trying to work together to accomplish a goal that's not on a baseball field. Man, that was a, it was a great idea, you know, it kind of throws everybody in these, like, you know, groups of eight to ten guys and you're kind of in a battle trying to get out together and uh, it, was, it was a lot of fun. It's something to kind of get that team com uh, camaraderie outside the field and, and get to know each other, like I said, and just have fun and, and go out and, and escape a room.